Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be doing another kind of like, I guess, automotive news oriented video. Uh, we're going to be focusing on Nissan again, not just the 400Z though, because I already did two previous videos on that. If you haven't actually checked those out, I'll probably link them up on the top of the video right now. But today I'm going to be just talking about the future of Nissan and I guess Nissan and Infiniti. There's been a lot of rumors going around towards the beginning of the year. Uh, everyone thought Nissan was going out of business because they suffered a lot of financial losses in the fiscal year of 2019. Now there's actually a lot of talk of them just completely, I guess, discontinuing the brand of Infiniti and just rebadging the Nissan cars at, or the Infiniti cars as Nissan like they did before Infiniti was even a thing. So yeah, anyway, uh, looking at the first couple articles. So these are articles from the beginning of 2020 when everyone thought that Nissan was going to go under. But basically this article actually says something that I actually had no idea about. Uh, pretty much it says that four years ago, Renault, Nissan, and Mitsubishi became a singular automo automaker company known as the Alliance, which I had no idea about. And it basically goes on to state how even though Nissan has been doing poorly in the past year or so, or couple years, the financial support that they, I guess, receive from this like trifecta is going to keep them afloat financially, pretty much. I mean, that's what I kind of picked up from the article. There's another article here too from CNBC. Uh, it was a like an interview with Nissan CEO, and he basically talks about now, mind you, this was I think in like February, so it was right at the beginning of the whole, I guess, pandemic. In combination with Nissan's losses from 2019, as well as the, I guess, up, upcoming coronavirus pandemic, I don't think anyone really realized how crazy it got. But I mean, Nissan was definitely in hot water to say the least. So this kind of goes on and it talks about the actual like job numbers, their actual losses. But the main thing that I got from this, um, article and it actually says it right at the top there is they're really focusing on japan china and the u.s now later on in the article the ceo of nissan does talk about keeping an eye on britain or the united kingdom because this i believe was when brexit was happening i could be wrong so they're trying to I guess keep an eye on that here it is actually right here so it's just a brief little statement it's basically his quote was, uh, we need to cautiously monitor how the UK government is going to keep or is going to make a deal in terms of Brexit when it comes to the tariff agreement. So yeah, that's pretty much just a brief little statement. There's not too much information in this article either. And if you can't, if you can't tell already, this video is definitely not going to be filled with like information, but now I'm kind of going to shift gears and go on to the main topic that I want to talk about in this video, which is the concept cars with the current concept cars for both Nissan and Infiniti, which I think is pretty exciting. So right here, front and center, again, you can see the car that I'm starting to love more and more. I cannot wait until we actually see the production model of these 400Zs and then eventually see them on the road. I can't wait. Everything that I'm seeing is I just, I, I keep liking it more and more. Uh, some people don't like the front girl design. Me personally, what I see there is a space for a massive intercooler. But yeah, anyways, I don't want to be talking about this car for too long because I already did two previous videos on it. So just scrolling down here, uh, you see a lot of new, I guess, electric SUV concepts. They're really trying to go after that market. I just did a review on a 2021 Toyota RAV4 Prime, which I think is honestly, it was pretty interesting to drive. I don't know how it's going to fare in the market, but just my first, like, I guess, initial reactions and just looking at what's trending now, apparently the RAV4 Prime is going to do very well. So, yeah, you see, like, the new uh, Titan. I'm not really too much of a truck person myself, but that does look pretty cool. Everything looks super futuristic, but I doubt that, you know, 90% of this stuff is going to even make it into pre production models or prototypes. But one thing that I saw that really really interested me is this idx concept now when i first saw it what do you think i was probably thinking about 
See that car right there in the back? That looks very, very similar to the Hakasuka, I believe, the Hakasuka GTRs, the GTRs and the Skylines from the 1970s. Now, a lot of people were talking about if there's going to be an Infiniti Skyline and Nissan Skyline coming up soon. Uh, if there's going to be a new S chassis, which I'll get to in a little bit. But yeah, just looking at this concept, I think this is really, really cool. Do I think they're going to even try to make this car? Probably not. I really, really hope so. This, though, I feel like this is kind of goofy. They're trying to go for, I guess, the classic wide body look, but there's no actual like wide body fender. There's just like these rivet holes in there, which I think is kind of goofy. But yeah, you can definitely tell that overall body design is very similar to the Skylines and the GTRs of the 1970s, which I personally love that design. Do I do it necessarily like this? Uh, I, I mean, I, I just think it's very, very unrealistic. The side exit exhaust from factory, that's unrealistic. The unadjustable, or maybe I guess they could be adjustable through electronics, but the, the side mirrors on the front fenders, that's completely unrealistic. Uh, especially considering 2020 like safety rules and everything and like I said to the rivets and the fake like wide body I guess uh, I don't know I <laughs> I doubt this is going to get anywhere near uh, a production model but then again uh, they did come out with the GTR 50 I believe that's what it's called um, but that's like that crazy looking new futuristic GTR, which I actually saw in person. So if I can find it in my phone, I'll put a clip in it right now when editing the video. But I mean, yeah, that car to look at it in person, and I've seen plenty of R35s, and when I saw that thing, I was like, wow, that's that's a supercar. And I don't know the performance numbers really for that GTR 50 or whatever it's called, but it, it's just absolutely wild looking. It doesn't even look like a car. And apparently I think they made like 100 or 200 of those, and they're actually for sale, like they're actual cars, which is, Again, just mind blowing. Even when I saw it in person at the New York Auto Show last year, uh, I didn't even think it was real, honestly. So anyways, trying to move right along to the Infinity concept vehicles. Now again, you do have a lot of SUVs. It looks like these are gonna be electric SUVs. But one thing that I did find really, really cool is this new Project Black S. I believe that might be a kind of like quote unquote Nismo variant of the Q60 and this prototype 10 over here I don't even know what that's supposed to be it doesn't even have a windshield which is again most of this stuff uh, don't go crazy in the comments because this video isn't really informative I'm just kind of like taking a look at some of the concepts and seeing what I would eventually like to see from Nissan and Infiniti in the future because I believe the whole rumors and the panic that we saw at the beginning of the year of Nissan going out of business, I truly think that's behind us, especially now that they're, they are actually coming out with the 400Z. I don't think they're going out of business anytime soon. I definitely think they are here to stay. Maybe not Infiniti, maybe they changed the branding around, but Nissan's definitely not going out of business, at least here in the United States. So again, this is another thing, this Prototype 9. Like, I think that's really cool. I like anything that's kind of like new, but has that old retro styling, and that's definitely what we see with this concept vehicle. Yeah, they do have pictures down here, so apparently this was actually made. Now, I don't know if this is just a roller, which means that it doesn't have a drivetrain, um, but maybe it does. I have no idea, well actually, Right here, it does say that this car is fully electric, powered by a prototype electric motor and battery, blah, blah, blah. All right, so maybe this car's an actual car, which I think is really cool. Uh, <laughs> there's no way that this is going to be made into a actual, like, purchasable um, model. I don't think it's going to be mass produced at all. But again, I'm just, this video is, I, I'm just doing it for like giving you guys my own opinion of what I like on their websites. Now this next render or concept car, 
pretty controversial. Uh, there have been a lot of rumors going around about this car and this chassis eventually returning to Nissan or Infiniti. But here, as you guys can see, I do have a gallery up of what the expected Nissan S16 Silvia is supposed to look like. Now, right now, uh, just again, just giving my opinion of this car, I believe this car is honestly kind of like in the stages that the 400Z was about four or five months ago when no one thought it was going to be a real car. Me personally, I don't think they're going to come out with the Sylvia anytime soon. But honestly, who knows? Because a lot of people doubted that uh, Nissan would even still be in business, let alone be making a new Z car, and here they are. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys some of these pictures of this concept car, of this render. I really like, you know, the old school Sylvia logo. Now, personally, in my opinion, nothing beats the S15 Sylvia. You can see the older Sylvia's here. Picture SR20. Uh, yeah, there it is. That's that's my favorite. The S15, I think it's a absolute legend. I love the car. I think even if they come out with a new one, they're not going to beat that old school design. Honestly, I don't know if that body would do it justice, hypothetically, if they were to come out with this tomorrow, which they're probably not. But I don't know if that body would honestly do it justice. But yeah, for the most part, uh, hopefully hopefully we see a new S chassis in the future. Uh, and I also do have just Google Images pulled up here. Now looking at this render, again, all of this stuff is just, it's all hypothetical. It's all up in the air right now. So nothing set in stone. But looking at this render, I really like this a lot more than this one. This one is a little bit too angled for me. It doesn't really look like a Sylvia in my opinion. Whereas this one definitely looks a little bit more boxy in the front, a lot more reminiscent of probably like an S13, S14. And then you have ones like this, which are just completely ridiculous uh, with like the whole camber and the, yeah, that that's, there's no way anything like that's going to happen. And also I, I find this funny because look what comes up, the uh, 2020 Nissan S, yeah, this, they're labeling this as a Sylvia, which, uh, yeah, that's that's not that's a Skyline or a GTR. That's not a that's not a Sylvia. Now, if they come out with a a new like an R36 GTR, do I think it's gonna look like this? No way. I I doubt. <laughs> after after the performance numbers that the R35 brought to the table, I doubt that they're gonna mass produce this box to be an R36 GTR. But I definitely would like to see them make something like this and, and I guess brand it like a Skyline and be kind of like a intermediate sports car, kind of like how the Z car is. But anyway, guys, uh, again, this is all my opinion and everything that I kind of showed you guys in this video, which I will leave links to down in the description below. But yeah, everything that I showed you guys in this video, it's all hypothetical right now. Nothing's set in stone. I did just kind of want to make a little video because I did do a couple videos on the 400Z and you guys did like them. They are getting more views than I normally get. But yeah, this video wasn't meant to be informational at all. I just kind of wanted to take a quick glance at the concept cars on both Nissan and Infiniti's websites and just uh, give you guys my opinion, give you guys what I'd like to see in the future. If you have more info or if you wanna share your opinions, let me know down in the comments below. And also don't forget to leave a like on the video and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. But like always guys, thank you all for all this support and I'll see you guys in the next one.